And then after that, you do. I'll, I'll go and vote. As for that one, five will not knock me at my work. As at now, I have already made up my mind who I want to vote for. If your ideas are dynamic, pragmatic, and achievable, then we will vote for them. For a long time, emails have not been allowed to vote, but now we have our chance. When it is declared and you find that your candidate actually won, what kind of jubilation are you going to have? I can go and rest in peace after that, I don't care. The voting system has been okay, but we have a little issue concerned about a special voting. Hey, what are you? Hey, take this guy, take this guy away. Take this guy away. 123, 124. 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. If you look at the entire polling stations in the country, 80% have reported their results. And we are confident that the remaining 20% cannot overturn a so I am telling you on authority from the pink sheets obtained from the polling stations is that this is where the results declared at the polling stations collated together on our own para collation sheets, para vote tabulation leads the election to. And we think it's about time that we call on our opponents to concede and come <laughs> We have invited you here this morning uh, to react to a press statement, a press conference that was addressed by the campaign chairman of the MPP uh, a few hours ago. Ignore that press conference because our total tally of votes show a comfortable lead for President John Dramani Mahama. But we will wait for the Electoral Commission as the law mandates and in line with our decisions at IPAC for the declaration of the results to be done by that legitimate body. The National Peace Council and its partners appreciate the roles played by all stakeholders. We suggest the EC should expedite action on the release of the results. The delay in the release of the results is creating anxiety, uncertainty, needless tension, and unhealthy speculation. The Commonwealth Observer Group has been present in Ghana since the 29th of November. We urge all parties and candidates to allow the Electoral Commission to announce the results of the elections, as well as respect the will of the people of Ghana, as expressed at the polls once those results have been announced. Let us respect the Constitution. The EC is doing its work. They have released some figures. We have taken hold of those figures. We are doing our own collation and comparing it with the figures we have. But we need to be calm so that the EC can do its work. We can do our collation. And I want to assure the nation that we will respect the outcome of the election, positive or negative. We just heard from the, election, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission that she needs more time to be able to complete her work. I think all of us are duty-bound to support her and give her that time so that we have a pronouncement that is devoid of controversy and of difficulty. We in the MPP are quietly confident that we have won a famous and historic victory. By our tally, 
We've won 49 extra seats in the parliament. We believe we've also won the main contest, the president. But we will await the electoral commission to give us the formal, final details of both. Now, assuming Nana Dunga Kufado does 10% lower than his current 52.17% he has done across the remaining 69 undeclared constituencies, he will achieve additional 1,210,716, which is 93,053 more than 50%. Plus one. What does this mean? We therefore project it is almost statistically impossible for President John Dramani Mahama to achieve 50% plus one. Our projection is that Nana Adodankwa Kufado will win the 2016 presidential election. I'm delighted to announce to you that the wait is now over and we're ready to tell you who your next president is. Mr. John Dramani Mahama of the NDC had 4,713,277 votes, being 44.40%. Mr. Nana Akufado of the New Patriotic Party had 5,716,026 votes, being 53.85%. On the basis of the foregoing figures, and by the power vested in me as the chairperson of the Electoral Commission and the returning officer for the presidential election, it is my duty and my privilege to declare Nana Adodankwa Akufuado as the president-elect of the Republic of Ghana. Thank you. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation greater and stronger. <laughs> the headquarters of the New Patriotic Party here at the Salam Down. And I can tell you that from the junction all the way to this place is shocked. Um, people are ecstatic. The, the environment is full of joy. They simply cannot help but to express their excitement about the victory of their flag by Ananado, Dankwa Ekofuado. We'll be going inside to find out what the situation looks like and bring you the excitement, the reaction from the people. We are so happy. We are so happy. This is our victory. We've talked for so long. We've been in opposition for eight years. They said all my life things about Nanado. Some said Nanado can never become president. Some said he has been cursed. There's no way Nanado can become president in Ghana. But we have put to them today. The people of Ghana are spoken. They said they want Nanado. They can see a visionary man in Nanado. Nanado is coming to bring future. There's going to be opportunity for the young men and women. Now we're going to have a hope. Our hope is now back alive. We have a new president. Nana Adodakwa Ekufuadu. What do you make of what is going on? Oh, we want change. We want change. You, you want change. Why are you, why are you excited? Well, I'm excited because free education is coming. Free education is coming. That's your expectation of the president-elect. What more are you expecting from him? I'm expecting more. I'm expecting more. Okay. And so that is... Uh, how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 16. You are 16 years old. And so uh, he is not an electorate, but he's excited because uh, the president-elect promised that he's going to bring about some free education. Uh, what do you make of what is happening here? Free education. Free education, that is your understanding of what is happening. Okay, so it is all about free education right here at the headquarters of the new patriotic party. And then we need us to say about Baba Yama. Well, she believes that whatever the president elect has promised, he, uh, he is going to fulfill his promise, and so uh, they are very much excited about it. Uh, let me speak to him as well. Okay, so for them, it is all about.
about the free education policy. Um, with me, I think the insults, the insults and the undermining and those kind of things were going on too much. And then they, they, they thought, sorry, the man is a, a radical person. They always paint him in a different form. But let me tell you, he's a man of peace. He's a man of unity. He's a humble and noble man. I'm telling you, you need to get closer to him and you know the kind of person we have as our president. We knew that we are winning, but we're not uh, uh, thinking of that margin. But what we 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 we're thinking that Nanado is bringing more policies, yeah. policies that will uh, help with the youth. Yeah. That's why we were so eager for Nanado to come. What has happened has taught us a great lesson that when you get into power, you need to put our resources into better use. All, all my word is for now. We are congratulations for our former president John Mahama for the lesson for the leadership for us. So we thank Almighty Allah, we thank all Ghanaians for how they support us, Northern region, all the regions. We thank Almighty Allah. We thank everybody for supporting us to rule Ghana. Now we can rule Ghana forward. Everything will be straight. All our, and all our resources and the problems will be solved. To all the people who cheered us on, who gathered at rallies to show their support, and who queued in long lines to vote for me, I know that this is not the outcome that we wanted and we had hoped for. But I say to you that this day should not mark the defeat of your role in this nation's political process. We must do our part to ensure that the progress of all our past governments, from the very first one led by our nation's founder, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, to this most recent one that I have led, continues because progress does not happen all at once. It takes time and dedication. There's never been a more humbling moment in my life. I will not let you down. And will do all in power to live up to your hopes and expectations. You have not elected me to serve one party, but to serve the entire nation. The president of Ghana is president for every single Ghanaian without discrimination, malice, or ill will to any ethnic group or political or religious affiliation. Whether you supported me or not, whether you campaigned for me or not, whether you voted for me or not, I can promise you one thing. I will do my best to serve your interests and put our country back on the path of progress and prosperity.